who can practice yoga brahmachari mita ahari tyagi yoga parayana abaddhadudva bhave siddho natra karya bicharana anyone who tames his senses indriya jit what bhagavad gita says indriya jit one who tames his senses brahmachari that doesn't means who remains celibate all the time but it means who is loyal to his one wife who doesn't commits adultery who has his senses under his control and restraint mit ahari one who eats not like an animal but who eats with discipline mit means small portion and today any dietitian can say don't eat big meal eat a small portion mit ahari bhagavad gita says any person who eats too much cannot be practitioner of a yoga and a person who doesn't eat anything at all cannot practice yoga so there has to be the middle way neither too much nor punishing your body by not eating at all mit ahari eat appropriate as your body requires so now what to eat how to eat how much to eat here in a way the whole ayurvedic sciences come into it because that teaches us what to eat when to eat and how much to eat as per season the ritu one should eat and as per the body constitution one should eat this is a vast subject and it requires a different session complete session on the subject of vat pit cuff and how the imbalances of this vat pit cuff creates our constitution and so we should be eating as per our body constitution avaidya an ayurveda acharya after doing analysis of your body can definitely help you to understand what to eat how to eat and how much to eat well, let me say it if you don't know what to eat and how to eat the food will become poison and the food will become the reason for diseases and the food can become the reason of having too much of commotion in your mind have you ever experienced little children if you give them too much sugar they get so hyper they are jumping around and shrieking and playing and you can't even you know, ask them to sit down they can't because they have so much energy from where did that come from the sugar which they ate sugar gives you an instant energy mit ahari one should eat less tyagi Now, tyagi doesn't mean who leave everything and goes to the banks of Ganga ji. No, no, no. Tyagi means that we use the the material as per the capacity and need, and we don't become a hoarder, and we don't just store the things in our closets and we fill our cupboards because of the greed. this fashion that fashion this cloth and that cloth hundreds of sets are there and yet the woman has to get a new one for her birthday for her anniversary who can practice yoga who puts a discipline on the wants needs and restrains his or her greed tyagi many people say this oh we are a householder how can we practice yoga you have to become a baba ji and sit in a cave and only then you can do it because say the shastra is saying mit ahari mit ahari tyagi are the words which are applicable on each and every individual whether you are a householder or whether you are a sanyasi or whether you are a yogi doesn't matters at all
If you don't know that this is not yoga, you will never know what is yoga. Now here we get a whole list of the things. Today I wish to bring forward these intricacies so that you can understand what yoga is. If you don't know what yoga is, then I would say it would be a very shameful thing in a way that we are so proud that yoga was explored, experimented in India and yet we the Indians don't know actually what yoga is.